there's a reason why more people suffer cardiovascular events later in life than early in life. And it's because sex hormones are protective. They are anti-aging. So testosterone is protective against the four primary diseases of aging, which are diabetes, cardiovascular disease, uh, cancer, and dementia. And all these things do have things in common, mainly the fact that they share issues with inflammation and insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. So if you take too much testosterone, it will absolutely stress your heart. It will give you a bigger heart and not in a good compassionate way. In a, It's physically bigger and it's a problem. <laughs> so when it comes to optimizing cardiovascular health, there's, uh, there's a couple of components that people need to look at. One is that you need to make sure that you are delivering stable, optimal levels of androgens. Too much or too little, it needs to be in that Goldilocks zone to be cardioprotective. Mm. I think that some people confuse hormone optimization and pharmaceutical medications. When it comes to pharmaceutical medications, we wanna take the minimal effective dose. Mm -hmm. When it comes to hormone optimization, we wanna take the maximally effective dose to be able to optimize the benefits that we get from treatment without shooting through the roof and causing issues. So if you want to be walking around, and this is the, the crux of what I'm speaking about in the keynote tomorrow, is that if you want to have the optimal levels of testosterone that a male your age and your health could possibly have, you have to meet the medicine halfway and be the guy who would be making those levels if he could. Mm. 